hope we won. We're going to give it, um, we're just gonna jump on right on in. Um, We're so happy to have you all here today. My name is Lulu. I am Meta Peace Team's fundraising coordinator. Even though you cannot see them, Mary and Melody are also supporting this program in the background. I'm very grateful to be here with you this Giving Tuesday. Since I've joined MPT, I've had met so many wonderful people. Um, and I found out that MPT is not just an organization. MPT brings people together as a community, as a family, and as a team, all working for a more just world. Um, as you know, today is Giving Tuesday. This is our first year doing a Giving Tuesday event, and we couldn't be happier. We are at $1,880 of our $5,000 goal. Um, if we reach $5,000, we'll be able to provide 20 scholarships for students to be trained in nonviolence. We would love it for those of you who are watching us live or watching us later to make and consider making a donation today. Donations can be made through a link in the chat or through Facebook. Um, this morning, I'm being joined by two musicians. Um, we have Peter Doherty. For those of you who do not know, Peter Doherty is a priest of the Diocese of Lansing, Michigan, who received special permission from the bishop to work solely on peace and justice issues. Um, he co-founded the Meta Peace Team in 1993 and has led nonviolent skills training in preparation for international and domestic peace teams, disarmament and anti-war actions, anti-apartheid activity, labor strikes, and has given numerous presentations on the work of peace. He's a one, also a wonderful musician. Um, we also have George Coveney playing for us today. Um, George Coveney is a longtime friend of Peter Doherty. They first met at the Holy Trinity Chapel, Chapel at Eastern Michigan University in Ypsilanti in the early 1970s, where Peter served as a campus minister. And George volunteered as one of the lead literal folk musicians. Yeah. Literal. Thank you, Peter. Um, Peter and George will be alternating so songs due to the distance between them. At the end, I will also send, play a short video sent in by Julie Bertel. We hope this music will inspire you. Um, George and Peter, I will give this right yeah. over to you both. Yeah, I'd like to add a little bit to the story of George. Um, I have sleep apnea, complex sleep apnea, so I understand maybe 15% of people have that, whereas 85% have the regular obstructive sleep apnea. But anyway, for a long time, I've had a deep fatigue, not knowing what. I went to doctors for this and that, didn't find anything, and then got a letter from the Phillips company indicating three and a half million recalls of the the pap, you know the sleep apnea machine I had. I had toxins going into me for a long time. And uh, what am I supposed to do? Three and, uh, three and a half million people all wanting a new machine. When will I ever get another machine? Well, a mutual friend of ours, Joan Tirac, were together at Holy Trinity Chapel where um, we were and George was uh, really uh, the in the music program of the chapel with his beautiful, beautiful singing. And uh, part of that campus ministry team. Um, anyway, talking with Joan on Facebook, he asked about me, I was Peter. She mentioned my situation. He says, I have the same thing. And, and he said that through his insurance, he had just gotten a new replacement that after five years they'll replace the machine he had but his used machine was perfectly good and hearing about my condition he ended up just sending it to me no he didn't want me to pay for it it was a gift he felt that that was a special gift well a true gift to me and I have energy that I haven't had because of that machine from George a tremendous gift. Um, so it's, it's great to be together, to sing together. Um, George, thank you, thank you for that machine. You're very and, welcome and it's delight. It's really a, a, a delight to be able to see you and uh, be here today. I'm glad yeah. that I was invited and happy to be here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're just gonna do it. And uh, Julie Butel, a great, friend musician from Detroit area 
there would be a song by her um, what recorded at the end. Okay, well, I'm going to start off. Um, this is a song from Cuba uh, about Cuba. Cuba was a, a possession of Spain for hundreds of years. And in the 1800s, there were uprisings against the abusiveness, you know, the domination by, by Spain. And there was um, um, Jose Marti was a Cuban poet and an intellectual, and he was involved in resistance to the oppression of, of uh, being mistreated by Spain. And uh, he had to flee, he fled the country, came to uh, Florida, but knew he had to go back. He knew it would be the end of him, but he had to, so he did go back. And he was killed uh, 1897 in you know, an uprising. And so a song was made, taking po his poetry and making it into a song. And people know it, it's, a, it's like a national anthem in Cuba, but here it became famous in the 1960s, Guantanamera. So I'm gonna sing. Guantanamera, 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 Guantanamera. Yo soy un hombre sincero, de donde crece la palma. Yo soy un hombre sincero. De donde crece la palma, y antes de morir me quiero echar mis versos del alma. Guantanamera, la tierra Guantanamera, Guantanamera, la tierra Guantanamera. I am a man from the land of the palm trees, and before dying, I wish to share with you these poems of my very soul. Mi verso es de un verde claro y de un carmen encendido. Mi verso es de un verde claro y de un carmen encendido mi verso es un ser herido y busque un amante en paz my poems are a clear green they are a, a flaming crimson my poems are a wounded fawn deep within the forest. Guantanamera, Guajira Guantanamera, Guantanamera, Guajira Guantanamera. With the poor people of this earth, I wish to cast my feet for the gentle stream of the mountain pleases me even more than the sea. Guantanamera, Guajira Guantanamera, Guantanamera, Guajira Guantanamera, Guajira Guantanamera, Guantanamera, Guajira Guantanamera, Guantanamera.
Well, George, you're next. Since I am. Okay. Nobody else around. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Well, thank you, Peter. Uh, as I said before, it's an absolute pleasure to be here. I'm going to add a little bit to your story. Uh, Joan Tirak and I occasionally connect on Facebook, and uh, that's what resulted in this. What started it, um, I do uh, part of the funeral ministry at Holy Trinity West, as I call it, since I have two of them in my history. Um, and uh, I was asked to do a song called The Servant Song for one of the uh, funeral liturgies we had. And I couldn't get the song out of my mind. I, I hadn't done it, but I felt like I had done it way back when. So the connection that my mind made was that Joan and I must have sung this back when we were together at Holy Trinity. So I asked her, and that's actually what started the conversation. So uh, since you told that story, I thought I would follow up with a couple of verses from the song that started it all, because I asked her if, if she, does she remember singing this with me? Because it, it seemed very familiar. Um, so I think the message is quite familiar too. When we hear something in our heart that says, we, uh, you know, what do you want me to do? Uh, sometimes we get an answer. So this is called Servant Song. What do you want of me, Lord? Where do you want me to serve you? Where can I sing your praises? I am your song. Oh. 
song in Joni's answer, I asked about you, Peter, and the story began. Wow. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Well, gee, which way to go here? Um, many years ago, after I left Holy Trinity, uh, some of us up in the uh, Lansing area formed a Catholic worker type community. We lived together in an intentional community and um, we took in homeless sisters and brothers temporarily. And, uh, and we were working on trying to end nuclear weapons. Anyway, we lived on what came in and people donated food. We also did dumpster diving behind grocery stores. Uh, food that was packaged, but just thrown out. And uh, anyway, our Saturday night cook um, is a folk singer and he wrote this song. So let's see, keep all three. You never know what you're, you're gonna have on any given night in that community house. So, we're having eggplant surprise, so choke down your fill. Your mouth won't water, but your eyes sure will. We're having eggplant surprise, so choke down your fill. If the first course don't get you, then the second one will. Cooks in the kitchen, scurrying about. Don't ask what we're having, cause you might find out. We're having eggplant surprise, so choke down your fill. Your mouth won't water, but your eyes sure will. We're having eggplant surprise. So choke down your fill. If the first course don't get you, the second one will. Refrigerator's warm. And the sink still leaks. Drip, drip, drip. And the oven's cold. And the food's been here for several weeks. We're having eggplant surprise, so choke down your fill. Your mouth won't water, but your eyes sure will. We're having eggplant surprise, so choke down your fill. If the first course don't get you, then the second one will. Well, rotten potatoes and moldy cheese. Overripe zucchini, won't you pass the mustard, please? We're having eggplant surprise, so choke down your fill. Your mouth won't water, but your eyes sure will. We're having eggplant surprise, so choke down your fill. If the first course don't get you, then the second one. <coughs> <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Andy. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, I'm gonna stay uh, about a song behind, but following you. I, your eggplant surprise gave me an idea for a song that I know. Mm -hmm. um, and your first song, Guantanavera, first of all, you stole one that I could sing. <laughs> <laughs> but reminded me of a uh, a song that I that Pete Seeger wrote, uh, but that I know and love through a version by Peter Paul and Mary. It's called Somos el Barco. So if we're going to uh, Spanish singing, I can do a little bit of that too. <laughs> Somos el barco, 
somos el mar, yo navego en ti, tú navegas en mí, we are the boat, we are the sea, I sail in you, you sail in me. stream sings it to the river, the river sings it to the sea, the sea sings it to the boat that carries you and me. Somos el barco, somos el mar, yo navego en ti. Tú navegas en mí. We are the boat. We are the sea. I sail in you. You sail in me. The boat that we are sailing in was built by many hands and the sea we are sailing on it touches many lands somos el barco somos el mar yo navego en ti tú navegas en mí We are the boat, we are the sea, I sail in you, you sail in me. So with our hopes we set the sail, and we face the winds once more. And with our hearts we chart the waters never sailed before. Somos el barco, somos el mar. Yo navego en ti, tú navegas en mí. We are the boat. We are the sea, I sail in you, you sail in me. We are the boat, we are the sea, I sail in you, you sail Well, uh, so, Madam Peace Team, uh, how do we stop violence? We tell stories of empowerment. And our teams actually do interventions and um, actually stop violence in situations. Uh, we walk with people in their struggle. It's their struggle, and we're accompanying. <laughs> we're not saviors or doing anything like that. But what we bring, we utilize it to help chill out uh, violence in various situations. Well, one story that's of empowerment, back in the 80s uh, um, in Argentina, there's a brutal military dictatorship. Brutal, brutal. People were disappearing. We found out later they would put bodies in uh, planes and drop them into the ocean. Thousands and thousands. Well, women one day decided 
uh, they were planning and they decided to do a daring thing. They went to the major plaza, Plaza de Mayo in Buenos Aires, a silent vigil holding signs of their loved ones who have disappeared, husbands, uh, you know, daughters, sons. Um, and they did that in big numbers. They would walk in a circle in silence and it began to give courage to others. And they began to demand for free elections. And eventually then they had an election and the dictator lost and they had freedom. Anyway, so those women were a, a catalyst. So this is the mothers of the Plaza de Mayo. Mothers of the Plaza de Mayo. Mothers of children swallowed by the night, women widowed by the silent hand. Transmuting grief to this relentless stride, walking this circle round and round. Our footsteps like tear drops in a pool, circles widening outward from the death of one son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Memory. daughters ripple across the conscience of the world so people suffer and we do what we can to help people get their own power. Empower themselves, not alone, but together. And the dictatorships are overthrown. So that's that, George. Lovely, Peter. That's, uh, that's a powerful song, a powerful poem, too. Um, it's, it's more than a little unnerving. You and I did not talk about songs uh, before we did this today. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> it's a little unnerving how well these things seem to fit together, but uh, this isn't an exact fit, but I, I'll go back to a story, an, an old folk joke, if you will, that I think, <clears throat> uh, I can't remember whether I heard this Actually, I do remember where I heard it. I heard it from the Kingston Trio way back in the day. Um, they were talking about where they get their songs and Bob Shane, uh, who actually passed away this year, I think, oh. he was the last surviving mem original member of the Kingston Trio. Uh, but he was a, a raconteur of the first class and he told lots of great stories, but in terms of finding his songs, he said, well, I was always told if you steal one song, it's plagiarism. But if you steal a hundred of them, it's original research. <laughs> so with, with that in mind, since I'm not really a songwriter, I have been a research, uh, oh, okay. a, a researcher for many, many years. And so a kind of sewer, huh? <laughs> I am a connoisseur of research songs. Um, at any rate, I it was fun coming up with songs uh, to do with this because there's some things that I have learned in the last few years that I really like 
Uh, this is a song from a gentleman named Tom Chapin. Everybody knows Harry Chapin, who was a famous folk singer or a famous musician, uh, taken much too soon by a heart attack um, when he was not nearly old enough to have to go through that. His brother Tom is an astonishingly good guitar player, mm -hmm. uh, banjo player. He plays auto harp. He has written songs for years. He's written children's songs that have won awards. Uh, he is really a consummate musician. And during the pandemic, he and, his, and two of his daughters put on uh, Facebook Live uh, music events. It started out almost daily. Then it moved to a couple of times a week. Uh, but in those things, I... He, he, they came up with a song called Walk the World Now Children. Um, and it strikes me that even though this is a Zoom or a Facebook conference, this is the perfect opportunity for a sing-along. And let me tell you why. Um, if you're at a concert, you people, the, the people up front, Peter, Paul, and Mary were famous for asking people to sing along. Uh, and they recognize the fact that everybody gets a little nervous if you have to sing, you're not used to singing and maybe you don't do it mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. professionally. So you get nervous and it strikes me, we've got a lot of people watching who are just in their offices or workplaces or homes or you know, whatever setting they're in and they have nobody to criticize. Yeah. So- Like being in the shower. Exactly. It's just not quite as reverberant. <laughs> So I'm going to uh, I'm going to teach this a little bit, but not much because it's very simple. Uh, it's just walk the world now, children, walk it now with me, walk the world now, children, walk it now with me, walk the world now, children, treat it lovingly and the world will last forever and a day. Mm -hmm. children walk it now with me walk the world now children walk it now with me walk the world now children treat it lovingly and the world will last forever and a day try it with me nobody will criticize you Walk the world now, children, walk it now with me. Walk the world now, children, walk it now with me. Walk the world now, children, treat it lovingly, and the world will last forever and a day. Drink the water, children. Drink the water, children. Drink it now with me. Drink the water, children. Drink it now with me. Drink the water, children. Drink it, treat it lovingly. And the world will last forever and a day. Breathe the air now, children. Breathe the air now, children. Breathe it now with me. Breathe the air now, children. Breathe it now with me. Breathe the air now, children. Treat it lovingly. And the world will last forever and a day. Work the land now, children. Work the land now, children. Work it now with me. Work the land now, children. Work it now with me. Work the land now, children, treat it lovingly, 
And the world will last forever and a day. Walk, walk, walk the world now. Walk, walk, walk the world now. It's a part for all the deep voices or the ones who want to be deep voices. One and walk, walk, walk the world now. Walk, walk, walk the world now. Walk the world now, children. Walk the world now. Walk it now with me. Oh, walk the world now, children. Walk the world now. Walk it now with me. Walk the world now, children. Walk the world now. Treat it lovingly. And the world will last forever and a day. Last time. Say whatever part you want. Walk the world now, children, walk the world, walk it now with me. Walk the world now, children, walk it now with me. Walk the world now, children, treat it lovingly. And the world will last forever and a day. And the world will last forever and a day. Okay. Go in our world with more and more people filled with fear and rage, more people lonely, committing suicide. We certainly need more lovingness. This is a song by Carol King. <clears throat> When you're down and troubled and you need some love and care and nothing, nothing is going right. Close your eyes and think of me. And soon I will be there to brighten up even your darkest night. You just call out my name and you know wherever I am. I'll come running to see you again. Well, winter, spring, summer, or fall, all you have to do is call, and I'll be there. Oh, yes, I will. You've got a friend. When the sky above you grows dark and full of clouds and that old north wind begins to blow, close your eyes and think of me and soon I will to brighten up even your darkest night. You just call out my name and you know wherever I am, I'll come running 
to see you again. Yes, well, winter, spring, summer, or fall, all you have to do is call, and I'll be there. Oh, yes, I will. You've got a friend. Ain't it good to know that you've got a friend when people can be so cold? They'll hurt you and desert you and take your soul if you let them but don't you let them you just call out my name and you know wherever i am i'll come running to see you again. Well, winter, spring, summer, or fall, all you've got to do is call, and I'll be there. Oh, yes, I will. You've got a friend. You've got a friend. You've got a friend. Yeah. yeah. Take it away, George. And I'm so glad I do, Peter. <laughs> um. Okay, I, you did that uh, eggplant song a little while earlier. And uh, many years ago, I, I learned a song, a parody song. Most people who are folk singers know a song called The Garden Song uh, by a gentleman named David Mallet from Maine. And it goes inch by inch, row by row gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. Now that's a great song uh, with lots of allegorical connections to sowing seeds and mm -hmm. what you can be in your life and how you can interact with the world and make a difference. Um, this Eric Kilburn writing thought about the song and he said, you know, I hate gardening. <laughs> so this is called the anti-garden song. Slug by slug, weed by weed, my garden's got me really cheap. All the insects love to feed upon my tomato plants. Sunburned face, scratched up knees, my kitchen's choked with zucchinis. I'm shopping at the A&P next time I get the chance. The crab grass grows, the ragweed thrives. My broccoli has long since died. The only thing still left alive are some radishes and beans. My carrot plants are dead and gone. The rabbits sing a happy song. Until you've weeded all day long, you don't know what boredom means. It's slug by slug, weed by weed. My garden's got me really cheap. All the insects love to feed upon my tomato plants. Sunburned face, scratched up knees. My kitchen's choked with zucchinis. I'm 
shopping at the A&P. Let's time I get the chance. You get up early, early, work till late. Watch the moles and mice get overweight. They eat their dinners on a plate from the hard work you have done. As ye sow, so shall ye reap. But I smell like a compost heap. I'm gonna get that lousy creep who said gardening was fun. Slug by slug, weed by weed, my garden's got me really teeth. All the insects love to feed upon my tomato plants. Sunburned face, scratched up knees, my kitchen's choked with zucchinis. I'm shopping at the a and next time I get the chance. I'm going down to the 7-Eleven next time I get the chance. Um, I think I'll, I will in, interject here uh, the fairy tale. I'm you know, not into fairy tales, but uh, I like this one, it's about poor Cinderella. So once upon a time in a corn front tree, there lived a Pransom Hintz. Now this Pransom Hintz wanted to get married. He wanted to wear a mife. So to find a wife, he went war and fight throughout his kingdom, looking for a beautiful girl he might marry, but he still couldn't find one. So to find a wife, he put on a Bansy fall. Now in the same corn front tree, there lived this beautiful girl named Sor Pinderella. Now, Sor Pinderella lived with her stugly up mother and her two sig bisters. The stugly up mother and two sig bisters decided they were going to go to the Bansy Fall and dance with the Pransom Hints, but Sor Pinderella couldn't go. So she croaked down in bride and she cried and cried, and her Gary Fod mother appeared to her. What's the matter, Sor Pinderella? I want to go to the Bansy Fall and dance with the Prince of Hints, but my stugly up mother and two sick bisters won't let me go. He says, don't cry, Sor Pinderella. With a wave of her magic mond, she turned her rirty dags into a magnificent mess, topped off with a stink mole. So Sor Pinderella went to the Bansy Fall in a pumpkin poach pulled by Hicks White Sources. When the Pransom Hintz looked out his wooden Hindu and saw this beautiful girl, he fell madly in love. And they danced and they danced. But at the moke of street night, Sor Pinderella remembered she was to be home. She ran down the wear stay on the statum bep, slopped her dripper and ran home. So the Pransom Hintz inquired, who's the beautiful girl who slopped this dripper? And nobody knew. So once again, he went war and fight throughout his kingdom looking for this beautiful girl who slopped her dripper. He came to the home of Sor Pinderella and the stugly up mother and the two Sigbisters. And he tried the slop dripper on the first Sigbister. But you know what? It fit and did. Her beet were too fig. He tried the slop dripper on the second Sigbister. It fit and did. Her beet were too fig. Then he tried the slop dripper on Sor Pinderella and it fit and did. So they married and they lived happily ever after. So that's the story. I can still do it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that in years, Peter. I love it. Yeah. Well, let me do this song. I, I mean, I'll take over here a, a little story in a song. So in the 1800s, they built the big railroad from east to west. Of course, the, you had your very wealthy um, you know, the Roosevelt's and the, uh, I can't, Rockefeller's and, all, and so on, who had their money. And anyway, they brought about the building of this railroad. It gave some jobs to some people. And after, some didn't have jobs again. Something sound familiar here, uh, the way things are going. Uh, the wealthiest nation ever, Top one tenth of one percent 
owns as much as the bottom 60% in America. I guess it is. Anyway, this is a song written about someone building that railroad. Once I built a railroad, I made it run. I made it race against time. Once I built a railroad, and now it's done. But he spared. I built a railroad, a tower, way up to the sun, of bricks and mortar and lime. Once I built a tower, and now it's done, buddy, can you spare? A dime. For once in khaki suits, gee, we look swell, full of that Yankee doodly dawn. A half a million boots went slogging through hell, and I was the kid with a drum. Say. Call me yeah. It was all the time. Say, don't you remember? I was your pal, buddy. Can you spare a dime? Once I built a I made it run, I made it race against time. And now it's done, buddy. Can you spare just to die? Anyway, a little rough. I'll work on it. Awesome. Oh my goodness. You guys have done such amazing songs. A big round of applause for you guys. Uh -huh. You get the full. Um, you guys, big round of applause. You get the full round for everyone. <laughs> you guys' music was absolutely amazing. Thank you both again for playing for us. Um, I'm going to end with the song that was sent in by Julie Boutel. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to share screen for that right now for you all. Give me a second, and that should. All right, and. Share sound, all right, let's see. If you guys can hear this when it plays, please put something in the chat just so I know for sure. Summertime, and the living is easy. Fish are jumping, and the cotton is high. Your daddy's rich and your mama's good looking. So hush, little baby, don't you cry. Keep snapping. One of these mornings, you're gonna rise up singing. 
You're gonna spread your wings and take to the sky. Yeah. But until that morning, there's nothing can harm you with daddy and mama standing by wow 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 There we go. Um, that was from Julie Boutel. She sent that in for us. For anyone who was concerned about COVID risk, um, this was before COVID that the video was up. Um, but yes, thank you so much to Julie for letting us use that as well. It was beautiful. Um, I have a few more things just to say to you all before you all head out. One second. Um, as a reminder, we're working towards raising $5,000 today. This means if you can share our post, comment, like it, or make a donation and encourage friends as well, it goes a long way. We're trying to get it so we can have 20 scholarships for students to learn nonviolence trainings. Um, as a grassroots organization, the only way we can reach the help is with the, reach our goals with the help of all of you. Um, thank you for joining us, and we'll be live again in two hours with Stories from Peace with Mary Hannah and Julie Thomas Beckett. Um, thank you so much, George, and thank you to all of the people who stuck around. You're welcome. Yeah. Love you guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. All right. I will see you all soon. Bye. Bye.